Namaste sir. Yeah, we would like to hear from you. Uh, sir, it was the greatest uh, support because uh, when we introduced this UHV in SRM, uh, engineering was the target because it's ACT recommended. But uh, slowly when uh, we even given the awareness to the medical, but it doesn't work out for the one year. After Miralini ji and Satyanarayan ji was attending this UHV uh, FDP, it was a great impact in the medical side. And from the day one of uh, when we met sir for uh, that time only chair is also take over this medical unit as a dean. So from the day one till dated he is extending the support to this UHV in all the ways, all the possible ways that he can do it. So my sincere gratitude for that sir. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. And sabko namaste. Respected Raju Lastana sir. Respected Ganesh ji, Dipesh ji. And uh, Umesh ji was also there. I think I missed out because I was not well yesterday evening. So, but I'm very happy to be here. And we've got some very energetic people, apart from, of course, uh, the, the leaders guiding us. So thank you very much, sir, with the leaders guiding us. And uh, from our own side over here for the UHV coordinators, my special thanks always to Dr. Satyanarayan and Dr. Supraja, uh, who have taken it forward. But I'm very happy to see the participation. And every time that I come and I've seen these, uh, you know, these uh, FDP programs which have been conducted, the numbers have only increased. And this time I think I've told for this seven day program, almost 70 people, uh, faculty members, senior people, and some from, of course, many from different states representing and coming over here. So I think something which is really of great value, I think universal human values, we all understand we live in a society where these values they, they, of course, they are valued and there's no question about it. But in educational institutions, it is most important because we are the ones who are going to shape the future of students, who are going to be citizens, leaders, who are going to you know lead us to the next century. And this education is never, never complete till all these values uh, are also ingrained. I think just uh, like sir was mentioning about when he was in this uh, Gurukulam where they teach these values apart from of course the traditional teaching which is so very important. I think it brings us back to the fact that for centuries we have been practicing it. Somewhere we were missing it but I'm very happy that these kinds of programs sir apne jo chalu kiya so that we are again getting back to that mode and we understand the value of all this. And with this particular UHDV level 3 that you have now conducted I am sure that you are going to could be the torch bearers. You will take it forward. And I am sure that we will create uh, those students and citizens for tomorrow who will not only be knowledgeable. I mean, it's very good to have knowledge, skills, everything. But without value, there is, uh, without these human values, they just can't live in a society and cannot grow in that society. And I think that's what they will be also passing out, passing down to the next generation. So something which will really enhance the value of our education system, our own culture and tradition. And I believe India has this maximum potential. We can show it to the entire world, how we can transform education and it will be a lesson for everybody. Thank you very much for inviting me, sir.